major rescue operation for the capsized ferry off Korea's southwestern coast continues on this Friday evening, where divers have finally reached inside the hull of the sunken ship. But there have been conflicting accounts all day about how successful they have been. For details, we'll go live to our Hwang Sang Yi at the Central Disaster Safety Headquarters here in Seoul. Sang Yi, what's the latest? 21 divers have been continuing search and rescue operations for the past three hours as they try to take advantage of the low tide to find survivors in the sunken ship. The rescue team is expected to continue their search operations throughout the night. Some progress has been made today as, diver, uh, as divers entered the vessel for the first time. Earlier in the morning, divers installed guidelines leading into the cafeteria that's on the third floor of the vessel. Later in the afternoon, they reached the freight car on the second floor and the steer station on the fifth floor. But the divers retreated just 14 minutes later after a guideline broke during attempts to break open a door to one of the compartments on the second floor. The divers have reportedly made it to the fourth floor now, but no survivors have been found yet. There had been conflicting reports concerning the rescue team's entry into the vessel, which led to the uh, Central Disaster Safety Headquarters to issue an apology for their inaccurate update. Guy? More than two days have passed since this Hewilho ferry capsized, and additional bodies have been found, but still no news of survivors. That's right, Sean. Three bodies were recovered today. The bodies of two male students were found about 500 meters away from the capsized vessel uh, this afternoon. Now, this came after the body of a middle-aged man was recovered in the morning, putting the total confirmed death toll at 28. Twelve bodies were confirmed as being high school students, two teachers, uh, three crew members, and one passenger. Ten bodies have yet to be identified, but seven others are believed to be high schoolers. 268 people still remain missing, and unfortunately, the number of survivors remains unchanged. Guys? All right, Sang Yi, thank you for that update. That was our Hwang Sang Yi reporting from the Central Disaster Safety Headquarters in Seoul.